Hey everyone, today I have my best products of 2011. I put together all of my favorite beauty products that I purchased in 2011 and used on a daily basis throughout the whole year. I didn't include products that I really liked but only used a couple times throughout the year and products that I just recently bought. So let's get started. So the first thing is my Urban Decay Naked Palette 1. I love this palette. I've been using it throughout the whole year. I love every single color in here. And my favorite ones are Half Baked and Smog. I love the packaging and I like how you can create almost any look from just one palette. I'm still trying to decide if I should go buy the Naked Palette 2. In my makeup tutorials, you guys probably noticed that I use this a lot. It's my Boy Toy Too Faced Eyeshadow. And in here, there are two colors. There is a very shimmery pink color and a very light pink color. It's almost white. And this is the color that I use almost every day. It's so pretty. So here's a close-up of the two colors. Let me swatch it for you. Another one of my favorite shadows is from Bobbi Brown Snow. And I always use this to highlight my brow bone. It's a very pretty shimmery white color. What I like about this shadow is that if you apply like two, three coats, it's a very glittery, shimmery white color. But if you only apply one thin coat, it's like a very sheer white, which is great to use for the brow bone. So, this is the Bobbi Brown. Another one of my favorite shadows is this Korean and Prani eyeshadow, and this is the number two in Shine Silver. It's not really silver, it's almost white. I apply this on top of my eyeshadows, it creates a very, very shimmery look. And I have it on today. I actually applied this on top of the white shadow from my boy toy. I bought this in New York back in like July or August, and since then I've been using this almost every day. So it opens up like this. And I like to use my fingers to apply this shadow. Here's a swatch of it. My all-time favorite eyeshadow from the face shop is my BK904 shadow. And you guys have probably seen me use this a lot for my tutorials too. The matte black shadow. If you look closely, there's glitters in it, but if you apply it to your eyes, you can't really see the glitter. I always use this on my outer V to create my smoky eyes. With my Urban Decay Naked Palette 1, I received this small Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. And I liked it so much that I bought the original size. I started using eyeshadow primer since 2011 and I did see a huge difference on using an eyeshadow primer and not using an eyeshadow primer. After I started using a primer, my shadow stayed on longer without creasing and the colors are more vibrant, like it stands out more. There are two lipsticks that I've been using throughout the whole year and they're both from MAC. The first one is the Viva Glam Gaga and the other one is the Ravishing which I have on right now on my lips. The Gaga is a very light pink color and the Ravishing is a very pretty peach coral color. I love MAC lipsticks, they are just so moisturizing and it stays on all day. Here is a closer look of the lipsticks. This one is the Viva Glam Gaga. And then this one is the Ravishing. I bought a Bobbi Brown concealer stick back in like February and since then I've been using it every day. This is actually my third one. This is the color in 25 Warm Sand. I love this concealer. A lot of the concealers spray me out, but this doesn't. It does a great job covering my dark circles, my acne scars, my sunspots, and my blemishes. So I just open it up like this. And twist it, and then apply it onto my face. Another MAC product that I've been loving in 2011 is my blotting powder in medium. As you guys know, I have very oily, acne-prone skin, so I use a lot of blotting paper throughout the whole day, and I also use this. This powder is very translucent and sheer. It doesn't really add color to your face. It gets rid of all my shine and oil, especially on my T-zones because I get very oily. My favorite product that I use to fill in my brows is my NARS Eyeliner Pencil in the color London. It's a dark gray charcoal color. 
I actually used it to fill in my brows today. This color makes my eyebrows look so natural. I've tried many different colors like dark brown, um, light brown, natural black, but nothing worked as well as this one. When I'm drawing in my brows, I don't draw it directly like this. I draw it from the side very, very lightly, and then I just blend it in with the Q-tip. You guys have probably watched me do it on my makeup tutorials. So here's the London Eye Pencil. There are two blushes that I really like. First one is from NARS and this is the Deep Throat. This is one of my favorite blushes. It's a very nice like coral pink color. I love NARS blushes. First of all, the texture is like silk. It doesn't bring me out and the colors are very pigmented. My second favorite blush is the Sue de Vet Silky Blush in Vanuatu. I bought this from Macy's last year because someone recommended it to me and I love it. It's a very nice baby pink color. The texture is very, very silky and soft. I like to apply this with my Bobbi Brown foundation brush. I just dab it and then pat it onto my cheeks. You open it up like that. There's a small mirror right there. I have two favorite skincare products of 2011. First one is my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer for sensitive skin. Before I started using this, I used my Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. But I like this like 10 times better. The texture is very light, it's fragrance free, it doesn't clog up my pores, and it doesn't bring me out. In the winter, my face gets extremely, extremely dry, but this does a great job with hydrating my skin. The reason why I switched my moisturizer to the Neutrogena one is because this Clean and Clear one, this is a acne medication. It helps treat and prevent breakouts. I noticed that my skin was getting very, very dry because the cleanser that I'm using right now that's also used to treat pimples. So using two acne products really dried out my face. My last one is my Estee Lauder Time Zone Anti-Line Wrinkle Eye Cream. And I did a review on this couple months ago. I started using an eye cream in 2011 because I started noticing like fine lines under my right eye. My mom uses this, so I tried it out, and right now all my fine lines are gone. So that was all. I hope you guys enjoyed my best products of 2011. For more videos, subscribe to Beautify Me, like and comment down below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!